Hey guys, what's up? What's going on? It's Lee here again and bringing you another awesome video. Today, I'm going to be doing my April favorites video. I just kind of put everything in my makeup bag that I'm going to talk about for this video. April's gone by crazy, crazy quick for me. Um, the last two weeks have been really, really kind of stressful and a little bit interesting. Um, starting the new job and all that stuff. It's going really, really good. My hair is all really staticky today, but so whatever. Excuse like the... Um, sweaty looking skin and stuff. It is a beautiful day in my city. It is like 20, it's about 22 degrees outside Canadian. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. Don't know. I didn't get a chance to film this video last weekend because I was just really, really busy. So we're getting right into the April favorites. And the first thing I have to share with you guys is my favorite Revlon lip butter for the month of April. 025 Peach Parfait. It's a beautiful color. It looks like this. It's pink with a lot of gold shimmer. It reminds me a lot of um, NARS's Orgasm Blush in like a lipsticky form. You guys can see from the sheen. Look at all that glitter. Woo! But it's really, really nice. The glitter is actually quite um, opaque, I guess if you can say. It doesn't show up as like crazy as it looks like in the tube. But it's a beautiful, beautiful color. I'm not wearing it right now, but absolutely beautiful. Love this, love this, love this. So next product I have to share with you guys is a lip gloss. This is the Sexy Mother Pucker Lip Gloss from Soap and Glory. This is in the color Yummy Plum. I have been wearing this like nobody's business. It makes my lips tingle. It makes my lips smell, taste good. <laughs> I was going to say smell good. It smells good. It tastes good. The color is like kind of a nice sheer kind of ready color. Oh, so that's what the color looks like on your lips. It's like a really nice kind of cherry kind of red color, but it's not too crazy red. It may look like it from the two, but it actually goes out quite sheer. Love this. Taste, smells amazing. Makes your lips tingle. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So next I have a lip gloss. This is the Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss in my one of my favorite colors, Pink Pop. You won't be able to read that, obviously. I don't know why I'm showing you, but it's this really nice, like, kind of crazy hot pink color it's so beautiful and that's what it looks like right there oh it's so pretty it looks a little bit scary in the tube but it's actually like um like yummy plum it's a little bit sheer so you can build it up to the intense color it does show in the tube but you can actually just wear it pretty sheer too so i love those those have been my favorite lip products for the month of april and i have a couple eye products to share with you guys too the first one being the L'Oreal Paris Color Infallible in number 002 Hourglass Beige. This guy is a pretty good stinking dupe for Stila's Kitten. I don't have it to compare, but that's okay. That's what the color looks like. It's a really, really nice kind of champagne, sheer, frosted kind of color. But when you blend it out on your skin tone, there it is right there. You guys can see from the nice sheen, it's not too crazy shimmery. It's a really nice champagne color. And when you blend it out into your skin, if you guys can see from the sun, it's so beautiful. So if you guys are looking for or want to try Sila's Kitten, um, definitely go give this a try because it's a pretty stinking good dupe. Um, I've Googled this numerous times um, too, so that's how I found out about it. And it's really nice for um, a brow bone highlight and an inner corner highlight too. I actually have it on my inner corner if you guys can see a little bit of sparkle. So yeah, I really, really like the L'Oreal Infallible um, 002 Hourglass Beige color. It's beautiful, and you should definitely go get some if you can find it. So my continued favorite for this month is the Maybelline Color... Maybelline Color Tattoo in Inked in Pink. This is from their Metal Collection. I talked about this in my March Favorites too. This is such a beautiful color. So, so pretty. It's like a nice frosted pink. But when you blend it out actually on your eyes, it's actually a really nice champagne kind of color. That's what it looks like right there if you guys can see it. Obviously, it has a bit of a metallic shine to it too. But it's a really nice champagne color right up here, right above my finger. So it blends really, really beautifully, and then you can put like a nice purple over top, or you can add a little bit of a taupe color, and actually I've been pairing it with a funky taupe kind of color. So I have another cream shadow that's a favorite, and it's actually kind of a taupey color. This is the Benefits Creaseless Cream Shadow. This is our old packaging with the little white doves. So cute. Um, and this is in the color Skinny Jeans. This guy I think was in my first ever YouTube video. I think I hauled him too. And it's a really nice, like silver kind of taupe pewter color it's so soft 
that's what the color looks like. So beautiful. I'll swatch it right on my wrist. And that's what it looks like right there. It's not too crazy gray and it has a little bit of that smoky effect to it. And when you blend it out on your eyes, if you don't want it too harsh, it's still like a really subtle, subtle smoky look. And you can put purple over top of that too. Oh, it looks phenomenal. So Benefit's Creaseless Cream Shadow in Skinny Jeans is definitely a big, big hit for me. And I've been wearing this literally almost every single day for the month of April. I've been wearing this guy and then this guy smudged into the corner to give it kind of a smoky effect. So beautiful. The next I have is a blush to share with you guys today. And it is the Benefit's Box Powder called Sugar Bomb. It's one of those like four colored blushes. So you have the purple and then you have the darker red and the lighter pink and then like the orangey kind of peachy color. But it's a really nice kind of light peachy pink color and it just gives you a really subtle flush on your cheeks. And it smells to die for. I don't know what benefit puts in their box powders but I'm really really glad it doesn't cause a huge effect on my sensitive skin because me and scented products don't really like each other but for some reason my skin just loves these box powders and the awesome effect it gives on my cheeks. I'm wearing it today if you guys can tell it's like a little bit of a flushy color. Beautiful. My favorite NARS blush of this month has been Deucer. If you guys can read it. There you go. Deucer. I bought it online, wasn't sure how it was going to look, never got a chance to swatch it in the store, never got a chance to try it in the store. I bit the bullet, bought the product, and I am in love with this blush. That's kind of more what it looks like. It's like kind of a neutral pinky brown. There you go. So it's kind of like a nice pinky brown color. Then when you blend it out a little bit, I've blended it out too much. <laughs> When you blend it out a little bit though, it's really, really nice and it gives a really subtle effect on your cheeks. Um, I also use it sometimes as a contour shade, so I might pick a different blush and then put this blush a little bit over top to add a little bit of darkness right here. I did do that today, if you guys can tell. Right there. It's kind of like, I go like, pick a fishy. Or put it right there. <laughs> if you get a chance to get your hands on it or swatch it or try it and get it to put it on your cheeks, definitely do so. Don't let the color intimidate you or don't let the color like bore you. It's a really nice blush. My favorite palette of the month has definitely, definitely been my Lorac Pro palette. This guy I go to every morning when I don't know what to wear because there's so many color selections. Top row is matte, bottom row is shimmer. You have neutrals, you have funkies. I love this purple. It's so pretty. And I love this slate color too. Oh, I love this palette. Definitely grabbing towards this. If I don't know what to wear, I've been using this a ton, ton, ton for the month of April. Woo. And the colors are just absolutely beautiful. I had to purchase this guy online. I have yet to see Lorac in any of the um, Canadian Sephora stores. Um, maybe they have it somewhere out east, but in the west I have yet to see it. I don't know. Comment down below if you're Canadian and if you have seen Lorac products in a Canadian Sephora. Let me know which one in case I go travel somewhere or whatever and I want to check out more of their stuff. But I bought this guy online and it was the only way I could get my hands on it. But I'm so glad I did. He's beautiful. And my last favorite I have to share with you guys is a mascara in a lime green tube. No, it's, 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 not, it's not the Rocket by Maybelline, I swear. <laughs> it is the CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara. There it is, Clump Crusher. I'm usually more of like a Maybelline mascara kind of girl, but everybody had been raving about this mascara up to wazoo. And I was like, okay, whatever. Like, it's only six, seven dollars. Sure, I'll try it if I don't like it. Whatever. It's just, it's, it, it's a few bucks lost. It's, it's not a high end, so whatever. Why not? This is what the brush looks like. And I have to tell you guys, I love everything about this mascara. The packaging is great. The formula is fantastic. And I'm wearing it right now. Oh, and I gotta admit though, it's pretty good at not clumping. Like even if you reapply. Do you guys like my lashes? Yeah, definitely the CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara is going to be a definite, definite repurchase for me. I love this mascara. It is awesome. You haven't tried it? You got to go get some. So yeah guys, that is everything I have for my April Favorites video. I apologize, it's a couple days late, but better late than never, right? <laughs> it's just been absolutely so busy with um, getting adjusted to the new job and getting up early and coming home late and spending time with the family and being outside because the weather's so beautiful. I will show you guys a picture of how gorgeous it is in my city today. It is beautiful, beautiful, and the birdies are chirping and the sky is blue and it's no longer snowing in Canada. Yay, it's so sunny. 
And there's my car sitting in the sun. And that's Daddy's company's truck. And oh, it's so beautiful. I don't know if you guys can hear the birds. Maybe. Tweet, 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 tweet. I'm definitely going to be sitting on my patio and having myself some coolas. Yeah, don't drink illegally. It's not cool. <laughs> but if you're legal or whatever, go and get yourself a cooler or definitely just have a glass of lemonade or iced tea or whatever your favorite drink is. Stick around for my next video. I hope you guys have a fantastic spring day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.